A very good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I thought the coffee would have done some magic. <laughs> so first of all, let me take this opportunity to uh, wish you all a very, very happy Ugadi and uh, Chetty Chand in Sindhi and uh, I think in others also. It's a new year for all, heralding spring and heralding changes and heralding uh, new wishes and uh, positive vibes for everybody. So uh, just like uh, I was thinking of Ugadi today morning, I got a nice WhatsApp, you know, with uh, giving that it consists of jaggery, it consists of neem, it consists of a sar thing. So it says, it is, you know, a combination of life, some sweet, some bitter experiences, some sar experiences, that's what life is made up of. And that reminded me of our talk today, coming to the markets, that gives you the same thing, some profit, some losses, some neutral thing somewhere. So I guess as long as the sweet is slightly extra, the profits are slightly extra, I guess we shall have a nice and sweet and uh, profitable uh, 2015. So with that, we'll come to the uh, main topic. Uh, that's the rise of algo trading. Now what exactly is algo trading? First, before I uh, get into the main topic, I just want to know from you all, how many of you all actually day trade here? Okay. And how many of you all are finding that when you are day trading, that things are, the volatility has increased very recently, in the last couple of years it keeps, keeps on increasing. And how many of you all also feel that with the increasing volatility, uh, there is a perception that this cannot be human. So you are absolutely right. You know, we are today in a new, ushering a new technology age called the algo age. And uh, this is something I will come to. First of all, let me get to the disclaimer. And the disclaimer is very clear. It's purely educational, whatever we are talking today. And uh, this is all I have taken from my own uh, experience. I have distilled it all down. I have uh, done a lot of research on this. Whatever products I will be talking about, it obviously doesn't mean that I vet those products and that uh, I recommend those products. But definitely, I have uh, had some experience on those products. <laughs> at least most of them. So, uh, with that uh, disclaimer, let's uh, move ahead. So, what exactly is an algorithm? So, an algorithm is basically nothing but a set of rules. You know, we define rules for everything and algo is used for everything possible. We don't need to, uh, you know, it's a yes and no for true or false sort of situation. So, when we determine, when we trade on the markets, we have our own internal set of rules. Is the stock moving up? When are you buying the stock normally? when there is certain momentum, right? Suddenly you see some volume picking up. Then your gut, gut feel triggers and you say, I see the volume build up. I see that the order book is changing. I'm finding a lot of activity happening. Chalo, let me buy, right? So that, if I put it into algo sense, I'm actually uh, just doing that on the fly without understanding. But there are certain rules to that. Rule number one, the volume. Is the volume increasing? True or false? Like that. Rule number two, is the rate increasing? True or false? and then what is the percentage, etc, etc. So that is how an algorithm, basically nothing but a set of instructions which you have to be giving, which will take your task of, you know, which will clearly define your task. So now we talk about algorithmic trading or black box trading. Basically is nothing but usage of computers. When we use computers instead of our own rational, uh, you get uh, into algorithmic trading. We confuse algorithmic trading with automated trading. Now see, algorithmic trading basically is a, meant for actually execution part of it. We use it only for execution. How do we uh, use it for ex execution of the particular things where we know that we want to slice an order, we want to place an order, or we want to set a set of rules. So what tends to happen when we are defining rules based on timing, based on price, or on any other mathematical model, that becomes automated trading. But of course, SEBI has uh, taken both the definitions and uh, Sevi so has put both the definitions together. What exactly are we seeing in are the benefits of this is that whatever trading is happening today is happening in no more milliseconds. Today we have gone to microseconds and in the US they have gone to nanoseconds. Milliseconds is one thousand of a second, micro is one millionth and nano is one billionth of a second. This is the sort of speed at which things are happening. As I take you through, you will understand how things have suddenly kept on changing. So trades are executed at the best price. You don't get to see those prices on your screen. How many of you all have had that experience? Before you all know the price, 
Explain it. And then the price updates. You understand? So what is happening in between you putting the order and you actually getting the confirmation? A lot of things have happened. If you slice it, if I have to make it into one millionth of a second, one thousandth of a second, how many, how many, if I split the second in one thousand parts, then imagine how slow the whole thing looks from you get putting the order to you getting the execution. At the same time, what tends to happen is there is also a reduction of manual errors. We have seen some of the errors which do happen by humans especially. It can happen because there is no automation at one, one end, he is the one who is pressing it, he is holding the phone, he is taking the order and he is pressing with the other end. There is a chance, there is a room for error. So automated trading or algorithmic trading helps in bringing down this particular part and seeing that the execution part of the orders are being done very, very systematically. At the same time, you know, most of the algorithmic trading or automated trading is, is subject to back testing. So whatever strategy you have in your mind, you can actually go back, test it out over a couple of years, see how stable it is, is it generating alpha, is it giving you return over a period of time and then you can uh, you know, put in for execution. That's not possible manually. Every day morning we come, we trade, right? And then we go back. At best, what do you do? Good traders do one thing. They go back, they check what, what trades they have done for the day. And what are the reasons for them doing that trade? And what is the result of that trade? So that the next time, if they have to do the same trade, how can they enhance their profit? A. How they can reduce their losses? B. C. How could they avoid the trade in case it was not needed or it didn't result in any great thing. So a good trader will always go back at the end of the day, take all the trades he has done and he will actually sit down and uh, go one by one, okay, the rationale for this was based on this indicator or based on this signal, etc. I took a trade or based on the market news, I took a trade or based on whatever. And then what has been the result? Final result is also important. So back testing of the algo is very easy here because and plus you get very, very, uh, you know, there's no gut feel involved, no, no, it will work, there's nothing like that. When you actually do a back test, you will find lot of times, whenever you put in big amount of data, you will find that the strategy which has been working for you now is actually giving losses in the long run. So it's not that simple. Only when you go and back test, you will come to know. So the other part is there's no psychology involved. There's no panic. The dealer doesn't get panicky by pressing the order, etc., etc. Here it's a machine, the machine takes care of it. So it becomes very, very simple. Now the greatest portion of algorithmic trading is HFT or high frequency trading. And this comprises of more than 30 to 40 percent. And in fact, maybe as high as 60 to 70 percent as some people claim. The figures are not very, very clear. But in India, they say that in the options market, as high as 85 to 90 percent of the orders, that means because they keep on changing the orders, percentage of orders, not trade, are algorithmic. That's why if you are trading on options especially, how many times have you been able to get that 5 minutes?